bit of dialogue about the situation in West Papua. Uh, so perhaps um, if uh, John Anari is uh, online or uh, another person they would like to. And we have also Claire, um, John Anari from West Papua and Megan Davis uh, from Australia who'd like to uh, speak next. John Anari. Yes. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, hello, John, and could you um, please speak uh, slowly and um, uh, a few minutes, uh, okay. we're finished. Uh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much uh, for the invitation and thank you for Melissa and Dr. Hannah who invited me for speaking, uh, representing my people of West Papua. You know, this time about the self-determination and self-government government yeah I, I just want to discuss about the for the preparations for the according to the united nations chapter article 73 must granted independent for all non self governing territory including west papua or they, they call a netherland guinea before and west papua have uh, established by united nations general assembly resolution 448 on the fifth session in 1915, and then the process continued by Dutch and United Nations. But the mining make the process of uh, self-government of the West Papua fail because of the mining of Freeport. <clears throat> so I want to show the uh, UN uh, resolutions uh, 448 that set up uh, West Papua. I don't know how to show this. Maybe you can see or not. Oh, forget it. I will send later. Yeah. And then the process of uh, self government for in or independent of uh, with Papua. Uh, the process since uh, 1945 when the UN established until uh, 1959, the Freeport, they lose their mining in Cuba. So they move to another locations. And then the, the Freeport, the director of Freeport, the Forbes Wilson in Indonesia, they try to uh, cooperation with the Dutch uh, mine and uh, Dutch company, uh, Dutch mining company in Indonesia too, its name is uh, that's Bor Borneo uh, mine, uh, Borneo uh, East Borneo company, and then they join, and then the exploration in West New Guinea or West Papua in 1950, in 1960, and then finally the process uh, of the decolonization uh, make a fail, so. After uh, John F. Kennedy uh, as the president of the United States, and then they pushed that to transfer the administration to Indonesia in 1962. And then, but uh, Indonesia, uh, they lied the United States, and then finally CIA prepared a black operation. The black operation, they invite the Indonesia uh, General Suharto to take over the president of Sukarno, and then finally Suharto be the president and let the mining now operate in our island of West Papua. Now free, they call it Freeport Mining. So in 1950, that's in Indonesia preparing the uh, transfer from the United Nations and then from United Nations to Indonesia, and then they preparing for uh, self-determination in 1969 and that Indonesian, they call an act of free choice, but West Papua called act of no choice because they select only uh, 400 indigenous Papuan and then 600 uh, Indonesian, especially they are from uh, Molucas because same uh, face, but different hair. We are curly hair, different hair. So they put them and then in the, they, they do not uh, allowing the their agreement in the United Nations that they signed in the United Nations building, they call New York Agreement on 50 
15 August 1962. The agreement arranged about the self-determination, but it must it's supposed to be one man, one vote. And every people must choose, and not Indonesia, but the because of the money, they, they before the election or the referendum in 1969, they preparing Indonesian and Rockefeller, Indonesian foreign minister had a Malik meeting with a Rockefeller in Swiss and another company, and then they sharing the uh, prospect for them. And then finally, the, the self-determination, uh, before self-determination, they signed the agreement for contract of the mining in Indonesia in August 1967. And finally, the referendum or the self-determination in, in West Papua in 1969, they do not uh, follow the agreement that they signed in the United Nations building. And then- very much. Yeah, Thank you. That, so much that's the mind. Well, yeah, so uh, I hope. And, uh, please make your ahead. final. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Hannah. Thank you. I have. Uh, we have Selwas uh, from the uh, for the from the Indonesian government uh, for a response as well. Hi, hi everyone. Can you can you hear my voice? Um... Yes. How to turn my video on? Let me check first. I'm sorry about this. Um, can you see me? Can you can you turn on my video because I don't have the uh, the options here. Oh, okay, wonderful. Um, hi, 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 everyone. Wonderful. Um, so uh, basically, uh, thank you so much for the opportunity given to me. I think I should appreciate this because, um, as it is advertised in the in the webpage of the UNPFII, it is a di dialogue between member states, um, the NGOs, as well as indigenous people themselves. So I really appreciate and treasure the opportunity to make a brief comment. I've seen a, a one 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 um, one comments about Indonesia in, in the chat room, as well as from the previous speaker. So let me just uh, briefly make uh, three points, um, short three points. And also in responding to uh, what the Mr. John Henry said, first of all, um, uh, first of all, uh, let me just point out that the that uh, the voter turn, ter, voter turns out in the in the in the last national elections in 2019 in West Papua Province and uh, the Papua Province is high. It's above uh, 90 percent of uh, people turn to the uh, voting uh, to the, to the voting, and that it really shows how democratic and how how civil participation is ensured in Indonesia, despite of many challenges that our government uh, faces as well. Um, also, if I may, um, I would like also to, to, to raise the second point regarding uh, the, the, the current situations in, in Papua, because um, as you know, perhaps no, as we talk about self-determinations, about autonomy and all those concepts, let me just briefly point out that all the officials from the national level, ministerial cabinet, governors, as well as a chief uh, police as army officers are from Papua and themselves, and this is part of the uh, democratic um, different governments that, that is really solid and that has a grassroots in Indonesia, especially in the provinces of Papua and West Papua. So this is our track record and our track record speaks volumes of itself. And third of all, with, with regards to the issue of uh, non self governing territories, as well as uh, the ones uh, pointed out by uh, many, uh, many speakers in the in the chat, let me just speak briefly that um, that, that, that there was uh, the there there wasn't any any reference about NSGTs trust uh, in in the dispute between uh, between uh, that we have in in 1960s so, and the UN documents and the New York Agreement resolutions um, the re UN resolutions are also acknowledging the act of self determinations no mentioning ever about about uh, about the NSGTs and everything, so I think it is an incorrect portrayal. So let me so let me just put it into um, a context there. And also, lastly, if if, if we talk about self determinations, I think the uh, the UNDRIP or the declaration itself also speaks about uh, the the need to maintain uh, territorial integrity of, of member states. So I think it should be seen in that light. Uh, that that is why I hope uh, the discussions can also bring. A more nuance and a, a more in-depth look on on the on, on the, the issue of self-determinations, and then to apply the issue of um, indigenous people in, in in the context of um, each member state, which is differ differ from one another. 
So uh, thank you so much uh, for this opportunity. I hope uh, I put a, um, I, I, I make a, a really brief uh, comment. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Salwas, and thank you so much uh, to everyone who has uh, spoken just now. Um, we are getting to very close to the end of our time, and there's lots of very rich discussion um, that needs to be had. And I did note uh, Megan's reference to the expert mechanisms work on self-determination, and I wonder whether that uh, could, could address some of these issues in the greater detail needed. It's a bit difficult, for example, to have a deep discussion about um, Article 73 um, in this kind of context. Um, so I'd like to give the panellists each really just one minute to, to uh, finish up and then uh, we will be moving on to the next session.